Good morning, church. We're gathered here today to celebrate the almost full century of life. Brother Gibson this morning, amen. And if you knew anything about Gibby, you know this ain't supposed to be no crying occasion. Amen. He was not a crying, complaining type of person. Uh, but I am excited uh, to be here and see all of you have taken time out of your busy schedules. Uh, to celebrate the life of our friend, our brother, our balladeer, our Ms. Ministry devotion man, our everything, uh, Brother Gibson, so thank you very much. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor as uh, we get ready to start our program, and let's just put our hands together and celebrate the gift of life uh, for just a few moments this morning. Amen. There's, there's so much going on out in the world. Uh, then you saw what happened at the hospital in Tulsa, Oklahoma yesterday, as though we needed salt rubbed in the wounds. Uh, more going on, more going on. So I just always think every day that you get up and you step out of the bed on your two feet, you open your eyes, and you're in your right mind. You ought to just say thank you, Lord, for another day, another dollar, another happy moment. Because uh, you could have been in that grocery store. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying yet. They say, had it not been for grace, there go I. Uh, so we're going to start off with all the program that's been provided for us this morning. Uh, starting off with the music ministry, our own Dr. Hawkins and the choir. And then after that, Brother Maurice Preston Jr. Uh, will come and lead us in scripture and prayer. <laughs> Yeah. 
James 5, 16. Confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. Yeah. Everybody bow your head and say over in prayer. God our creator, God our first father, yes, who art in heaven, we, your children, thank you so much for gathering in which we are all rejoicing and bringing home to your mansion. For there you have said you have prepared many rooms, a permanent everlasting residence for our beloved Charles Gibson, a faithful servant. This transition is expected for all of us prayerfully in the timing of your choice, Father God. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, where your son, Jesus Christ, sits at the hand of the throne in Zion. We acknowledge the blessings you have bestowed upon brother and servant Charles Gibson, granting him to give and live that longevity of a 96 year lifespan. May all of us be as fortunate as him without ailments or human illnesses. God, you are in control. In this homegoing memorial celebration, we reflect individually, collectively, and personally in retrospect, Charles Gibson and his past moments with us. Take time right now to remember in silence your encounter with Brother Gibson as I pause this prayer right now. As we spent time with our brother, friend, church member, prayer partner, let us not neglect our meetings together with others as we did with him. To encourage one another and spread charity and peace, especially now that the day of the Lord's God's return is drawing near. Help us all to be a powerful example of Jesus' love. Your son, Lord God, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross to take away the sins of the world and offer salvation to whomsoever believes in him as our redeemer. 
May everyone under the sound of my voice be steadfast and faithful to his lifestyle. Brother Gibson's lifestyle was that of a strong faith and continuance way in life, the Jesus way. I pray grace and God's mercy upon this congregation and also pray that the sorrow that we feel at this time be lifted from grieving to rejoicing. For he has joined his longtime loving wife in glory, who he longed for and missed painfully, always letting it be known when Gibson, his soulmate here on earth, both faithful members here in this church. In ending the prayer, you will truly be missed, Gibson. Relatives and friends, be blessed and carry his memories in your heart. This is his desire, I'm sure. Amen. Amen. All right, we will now have a selection from the choir and then the reading of our ritual. Until the last year, 
When his health began to fail, when he moved to Simmons, he was the life of the party. But as he became more ill, his energy waned. So it is fitting that today, all his friends and church members celebrate his life with songs and stories. He'd really be happy to see you all. Also, I want to do a special thank you to Muriel Bates. Her name was left off of the um, program. But Muriel was there. She provided food for him because I don't cook. All right. Until he couldn't cook. <laughs> All right. uh, she checked on him also. So I, I just want to let people know that Muriel is a part of our family also. Yeah. So again, I think this is a fitting memorial. Thank you. Uh, you'd like to share these comments if you just stand. Here, I'll give you my mic. He'll come to that. To the family of Mr. Charles Edward Gibson, from the Jesus Choir of our first African Methodist Episcopal Church, 145 Massachusetts Street, Gary and Yam. We, the members of the Chancel Choir of First Avenue Church of Gary, Indiana, on behalf of Reverend Dr. Virgil Woods, are sorry to hear about the passing of Charles Edward Gibson. We wanted you to know that we would like to extend our heartfelt sorrow to the family. Mr. Gibson sang in the Chancel Choir for 50 plus years. Mr. Gibson will truly be missed by his buddies and friends in the choir and the church. They will show love and remember song, songs of joy and happiness. If you find comfort in these words from Psalms 98, verse 1, O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Each Sunday service, he would greet you with a smile, and let us not forget the many times Mr. Gibson delighted the church audience with his deep voice when he sang his solo. May God keep him in the bosom of Abraham, surrounded by angels in the midst of heaven. At this time, the burden of our hearts is heavy, and the family and first-hand me may not be able to imagine life without Mr. Gibson. Please lean on the Lord, allow him to supply your needs to continue the healing process of your wounded hearts. We, the church choir and members of the First Heavenly Church, are available to help you in any way we can. We are praying and thinking of you. Thank the Lord for the life of Charles Edward Gibson. I'll be submitted by Dr. Noble Mosley, Chancellor Clara President, Reverend Dr. Virgil Bruce, first year being pastor. Amen. Amen. Great. Uh, there's a sister right here and then sister in the back. If you just stand where you're at, we'll come to you. Giving praises to God who has had my life and to the pastor here. I would just like to say I'm representing uh, Village Green, amen. And um, uh, I want our, a few of our Village Green Bible study to stand. Would you please stand, please? Yeah. On behalf of the Village Green Bible study group, we want to say to Brother Charles and his family, we miss him so much. He would end our Bible studies, whatever we were studying on, he would end it with a song. And, you know, Charles could really sing, or the Charles could sing. And I remember that, I remember, let me tell you a story, y'all may be seated. I remember the weather was so bad, and, we, you know, uh, the clubhouse was right in the center of uh, our apartments. And, um, it was so bad, and I was calling around telling people, telling the group that we're not going to have Bible study today because of the weather being bad. He said, Sister James, why are you, you can't, we're right across the way, it's not that bad. We can have Bible study. I said, no, because some of the people might fall, and, you know. And so, but then you know, I was looking out for the, um, old, the ones that were a little more mature than I am. And, um, but I, he, he loved Bible study, he loved his church, he loved his pastor, and he loved to sing. And he loved you to Karen. I, um, Karen and I talked so much, I thought I was in the band. I said, oh, you know, Charles, do you know how 
welcome to our school. But anyway, uh, on behalf of the Latrine, he will be sorely missed. And I, we pray for you all and the church. I know you're going to miss him as well. We pray very much for you. We pray, we pray your strength in the Lord, as they always say. And that he will keep you and remember your uncle, cousin, um, and our best friend at Village Green. Thank you so much for these moments. Good morning, church, Pastor Woods, family, and friends. My name is William Fair. I think I can lay claim to having been a friend of Charles Gibson for 71 years. Okay. We met in 1951 as members of the Kingsman Glee Club. This was a black man's singing group and it was comprised of members from all over the Gary area. We had members who were educators, steel workers, construction workers, no delivery men, and even students, which I was a student at the time. This group had three loves, the love of God, the love of singing, and the love of each other. We rehearsed as many as three times a week, depending on what our obligations were for concert appearances. As our friendship went on down through the years, we shared many moments together. Now, I heard uh, about his legendary barbecue skills, which I'm aware of. You might know that he even figured out how to barbecue neck bones. <laughs> and he, he, did, he did a wonderful job. We, we, we just always had a good time together, and up until the point in time where his health began to fail, and he would, he would come to church and we would still share fellowship and chit around with each other. Uh, he was a member of a group called the Song Fellows. This was a men's singing group here at First Church. And we rehearsed on Saturday nights at 9.30. Now that, that sounds like a strange time to have a rehearsal, but our director, the late Dr. Grandiola Whitworth Jr., who was formerly the minister of music here, that's when he finished up his last private music lesson. And we would rehearse for about an hour or so, and then out came the card table, so we would play big whist the rest of the night. <laughs> But again, it has been just a joyful experience having known and fellowship with Kim over the years. Thank you. Brother Demetrius? Sister Renee, Brother Demetrius. Oh, 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 okay, we're sorry. I think he has a weird blood. Good morning to Mr. Gibson's family, Pastor Woods. Um, Mr. Gibson, I knew him for church every Sunday, his joyful voice, his smile. Um, but I got to know him differently outside the church uh, through Mr. Green. Mr. Green brought Mr. Gibson to my home on Saturday to the grass. And Mr. Gibson was the funniest man outside the church. His joyfulness, his happiness, he looked me up in so many ways. Um, he put on a wall, and my brother doesn't know anybody, but Sunni loved Mr. Gibson and Mr. Green. They put around him, and Mr. Gibson, he would call and check on me when I was sick. And um, I don't know, Mr. Gibson was still in a little way, but seeing him outside the church, and watching him was so different. I don't want to miss I don't miss him terribly. Mm -hmm. uh, that voice, his heart, his love. Wonderful man. And I'm glad to know him as a person, not just this is hands beyond that. I'm so glad to have to be in that. Thank you, man.
everybody. Well, we just give God praise, honor, and all glory. We thank God for this wonderful opportunity to come and share in the celebration of your love. We love Mr. Gibson so very much. We are the Interfaith Prayer Power Pool. We meet every Tuesday, and we started off meeting every Tuesday at 6 a.m. And some people would tell me it's an a.m. <laughs> so, but yes, we and we started off meeting here uh, at the Barber Youth Center, and I thank God that it was Mr. Gibson who was like our doorkeeper. He was there. He had to get there before us, so he opened the door for us. So we was always there uh, to to. He was always there to greet us. So we thank God for him. Uh, I wanted to just make sure we did bring a resolution, but I made a mistake and gave it to the pastor. <laughs> I knew better, <laughs> so I apologize, pastor. But I wanted to just get up and say that uh, we are going to truly miss him. Uh, yes, he met with us for many, many years. Uh, Interfaith Prayer Power Pool started over 40 years ago. Uh, we have our emeritus, Gene Preston, who you do all to know, a member of this church. Uh, this, uh, and I thank God for Mrs. Ewan, who was you, Mrs. Ewan and Mrs. Preston got together and started the Interfaith Prayer Power Pool, uh, as I said, 40 plus years ago. And Mr. Gibson was one of the first members that uh, joined in every Tuesday. And we just wanted to just acknowledge that he was just such a faithful, honest, and the word that I kept coming up with today was extraordinary. Truly an extraordinary man. And we thank God for each and every uh, time that we met. And, and the song that we remember best was what, you guys? There's a storm out on the ocean, and it's moving, and he would say it with such a melodious voice, it just ushered us into the presence of the Lord every Tuesday, and we just love, love so much. When he did come, and he was still driving at 90 plus uh, every Tuesday morning, and he would meet many of us there. <laughs> we had to change it eventually until 7 o'clock because many of us got retired and we started. So, you know, we can change this a little bit. And so we started reading. And yet, still now, we meet over the phone. And there are many times that he would come in. We didn't even know he was on the phone. Uh, he would call in, and, and, and then before you know, we heard that melodious voice. We missed him. We got so excited. Every time he was on with us, he and our brother, brother Charles, they're all in that same age group. We had a celebration here not too long ago, and we celebrated the nonagenarians. And this is one of our nonagenarians, and we thank God for uh, just the presence of Mr. Gibson. I know you're going to miss him, but we are truly going to miss that extraordinary man. God bless you all, and thank you so much for asking. Amen. 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 Hi, my name is Ralph Green. Uh, I met uh, Charles Gibson in 05 when I came here to Township, and uh, he hired me, got me hired up here, stripping floors and waxing floors, and he stuck with me ever since. But I just say, out of the since 04 till now, I never heard him curse or get angry, and he stuck with me. <laughs> his wife, his wife used to tell him, go get my son, every summer. He come pick me up, we'd go out there where they had stuff in the storage, and I'd put the roots up, clean their windows, do everything in their house, but, he was like a father to me, and a true Christian, if I ever saw one, and I love him. Amen. Amen. All right, Calvin, you ready? Brother Jerry? here today and I thank the Lord that I had the opportunity to meet and fellowship and share this life the short time we had together and just express the beauty of this life and we, which we all know and we all know this dark world that we're living in and we know it's a men and women with the faith like Brother Gibson 
uh, that will bring us out of this darkness, lead us out of this darkness. And I just wanted to express that, and uh, and I feel his present uh, that he expect me to say something uh, on behalf of uh, our relationship and the life that he lived, and that has been an impression upon me and all of us who know Brother Gibson, he left that impression. So let us walk and receive the blessing of God that Brother Gibson showed to us through his life, and I just thank God for it. Amen, amen. We need it today. Amen. I'd like to say, Mr. Gibson will be well missed from all of us here at this church. He has uh, invented things on all of our lives. He was so thankful to Brother Steve Johnson, who used to go and pick him up from the nursing homes and bring him here to church. And he'd sit in the back and he'd wait for everybody to come back and greet him and talk to him. But he was a janitor custodian here at the church at one point, and my sons used to come up and he would always ask about how those boys doing, Miss Williams. But I remember, and I want you to know, that each time I visited him in the hospital, I visited him when he was at South Lake, I visited him when he was at North Lake, and each time that I went to visit him, he would be, Steve said, oh, he just laying there. He'd look up, and he'd perk up and smile. And I said, he said, well, I don't want to go home. I want to go home. The last time he said, I want to go home. He was talking about back to the nursing home. And uh, I said, well, Brother Gip, you know you got to eat something to get strong. And he said, okay. And I told him that each time. I told him that when I went to South Lake with him, and when I went to see him at South Lake, he was waiting on you to come see him too. And uh, he did start eating some then. He said, okay, I'll eat an apple, but I, I don't want this food. <laughs> but uh, he's gonna be truly missed. Uh, we miss his presence. We miss his singing, because we love hearing him sing, you know. And even some of the nurses at the hospital said, oh, he was singing for us a little while ago. I said, all right, Brother Gibson. So Brother Gibson, rest and enjoy your life back with your wife. Amen. 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 We have one final acknowledgement from our men's ministry, Breakfast Bible and Brothers. And while they're getting themselves together, uh, I want you to know we have a whole folder full of acknowledgments. And I'm not going to read them all, but we do have one from Demetrius Powers, from Mayor, Prince, uh, Mayor Jerome Prince, uh, from the uh, Courtesy Guild, the Urban League of Northwest Indiana, Board of Commissioners of County of the Lake, Gary Common Council Mary Brown, Councilman Dwight Williams, Councilman William Godwin, uh, State of House Representatives, Dr. Vernon G. Smith, Councilwoman uh, Linda Barnes Caldwell, Councilman Ron Brewer, Councilman Mike Brown, uh, and we have one from the Interfaith Prayer Power Pool. We have our own resolution from the church, and then of course the men's ministry. So I'm gonna pass all these to you, but I think it's wonderful that people take the time out to express uh, how important and someone is in their life. And so I'll give these to you, but we can applaud that if you want. I think that's awesome. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased brother, we therefore commit him to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ his second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world. The earth and the sea shall give up their dead and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body according to the mighty workings whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, right, 
For henceforth blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so saith the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us all. Let us share in the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art who in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily, daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. This pretty much concludes it. Uh, thank you guys again for letting me be friends with your friend and family for so long. It's a wonderful spirit. Uh, we continue to pray for all of you. Uh, and I just encourage everyone, as always, to check on each other uh, on down the road. You know, it's obvious this week, but in three months, it's less obvious. But we still need to check on each other and make sure each other is doing okay. And uh, just know the church loves him and loves you all very much. And if there's anything we can do, uh, just let us know. And uh, no matter what happens, never stop saying Amen. Amen. Family, thank you for entrusting your loved one in the care of Guy and Alan Funeral Directors. It has been my pleasure and my honor to serve you during this time. There's anything that you want to let us know that you want to let us say it's a love of one another. We continue to follow one another. And as you go back to your cars, just re remove the um, placard and be safe. God bless you all. Thank you. Anybody Amen. like a flower? Uh,